phone. So in that case, a charged cell phone or a satellite phone can be your hiking buddy. We're here just outside the decontamination room. So if a patient who was infected with Ebola or another serious infectious disease, this is how they would come through. Now the buildings were so damaged, crews demolished them this afternoon, and now they want to find who's responsible. How do you respond to people who say, radon's not a big deal, you don't need to worry about it? I can show my scar. <laughs> no, I just say, yes, it is. It's a really big deal. The Utah Food Bank had several volunteers today, including the Utah National Guard, to help unload the many truckloads of donations that came in. Each offer was submitted with a fake, non-existent buyer name and forged signatures. I'm standing here with Chase, who just earned his trifecta here at the Spartan Race. So how was it today? What was the course like? It was brutal. It was uh, the longest course this year so far. IHP's powerful tools and assessments will help you to realize your current health and wellness inside and out to keep you informed and motivated. These people spent 15 hours in 70 degree water uh, before they were found. They were cold and suffering from hypothermia. Both the state and the defense rest today calling no further witnesses to the stand. Ann with ProteinFactory.com and I'm here with Marco, one of the Spartan race finishers from today. So Marco, what was the race like for you? How tough was it? It was, uh, it was definitely tough. Uh, I'm used to running, you know, more miles and everything. Crews drilled in one location down 41 feet and found nothing but sand and gravel. Like the title of this family history book indicates, this small property is the last orchard on Orchard Drive. And how did this happen? Well, Questar Gas says it made a mistake in shutting off the woman's service. The principal base in Meridian in Utah is right here in downtown Salt Lake City at this street corner. From this point, most land is described or measured. I'm Ann Forrester, on scene. Well, it's a special exhibit only in Salt Lake City and serves as a stunning visual history lesson. After that, the jury will deliberate and it's anyone's guess as to how long it will be until a verdict is reached. Live at 5, I'm Ann Forrester.